Hello, this is David Quaz with the University of Tennessee in Lincoln County. Today we're going to build a wooden armadillo trap. Armadillos are quite a pest in Middle Tennessee. There are not a lot of good ways to control them besides the trapping. They're not protected. You can shoot them, but they're nocturnal. You won't really see any of them out during the day. So we've gone to these uh, live trap type deals. You can use one of these conventional wire live traps you have to funnel them in with boards that sort of thing because there's really no way to abate them in the conventional way that we bait other wildlife they just will not come to regular bait however they will come to the smell of another armadillo and that's where these wooden traps come in i built this wooden trap earlier just out of scrap whatever was on hand it's probably caught about 20 armadillos i've caught three with it in the last two weeks but i thought i'd build a couple uh, out of new wood, see how much it would cost, how much trouble it would be. Built this trap yesterday, uh, got enough materials for two traps, was about $100, $110. It, I used a four by eight sheet of treated plywood, three quarter inch, four uh, eight foot two by fours treated, three eight foot uh, one by fours treated, four metal pulleys, four eye hooks, and uh, quite a bit of screws. So we'll show you how that goes All together. Right. To make one trap, took uh, three pieces of three quarter plywood treated. They were 12 inch by 36 inches. That made the bottom and the two sides of the trap. There's one piece uh, at, sitting at the bottom of the picture. That's the top. It is uh, 30 inches long by 12 inch. It's got a hole in the middle for the the uh, trap uh, trip mechanism that we'll tell you a little bit about later. Uh, this plan is available for this trap, something very similar on Louisiana State University's website. There are 12 strips that are uh, one by three quarter by two by 12 inches long, and these will make the uh, track for the doors there's one piece of two before six inches long. It's a part of the uh, tripping mechanism I'll show you later. Four small pulleys and four eye hooks. I did open the eye hooks up so we can hook the pulleys in those and close back up. Uh, one piece of uh, one by four uh, treated slat, and that is uh, for the top, holds it all together. Two pieces of uh, Treated two by four that are 14 and three quarters, I believe. And there are four uprights that are treated two by fours, 30 inches long. You can use some different materials for this. Uh, you can use uh, dimension lumber. You can use one by tens, one by twelves. If you don't use treated lumber, a lot of times the uh, shelving board, I have used those for doors and that'll warp on you. Take several deck screws, drywall screws to put it together, as you'll see here in a minute. Put the two by six uprights, uh, screwed with deck screws onto the two side walls that are uh, 12 by 36. As you can see, we, uh, we left this back three quarters inch from the edge so that the bottom uh, of the trap can be put on there and be flush did this on both the side pieces. All right, these one to, by two strips on each end of the uh, sides of the trap are the track for the doors that slide up and down. As you can see, the inner one is three inches in, the whole trap's 36 inches, the top board's 30 inches, so that way that'll be parallel with the uh, top of the trap when we put it together. You can see we've done this at both ends of this piece and also the other side piece for the trap. Now we're ready to put the bottom on the trap. All right, time to put the top on.
You can see the trap mechanism is just a stick with a hole in it. Strings go up to these pulleys to each door. All the trap mechanism consists of is a stick with a hole in it, has strings that go by pulleys over to each door. Uh, it's got a hole in there that sticks onto a screw down here at this hole that goes into the bottom. When the animal enters the trap and bumps that stick, it comes off the screw and it's captured.